Hello everyone, welcome back to another LEGO tutorial and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how you can create this nice bookcase. So let's get started. So to start off your bookcase frame we're basically just going to get a 2x4 plate and in the middle we're going to place a 2x2 two two tile and on the sides we're going to stack two 1x2 one one bricks. So it should look like that and you're going to do it on the other side as well. And in the middle, you're going to place another 2x4 plate. And in the middle, you're going to place a 2x2 tile. And you're basically just going to do the same thing that you did in the first step. And on top, you place another 2x4 plate. And you get two 1x4 tiles and you place them on top. You can also use a 2x4 tile. Um, you can improvise. Um, you don't even have to tile the top off if you want to. It's not necessary, but just to give your book a nice smooth look on the top, you can do that. So you can also add legs to the bottom of your bookshelf. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm basically just placing studs on the bottom corners. So now you have a nice little place where <clears throat> your bookcase can, you know, stand on. You have some legs for your bookcase. So, um, <clears throat> now let's do the part where all the magic happens. So you're going to need a lot of, well, I guess not a lot. It really depends on how wide you're making your bookcase or, um, how many levels you're making it. But you are going to need five two by two tiles for each, uh, for each level. So what you do now is, um, you lay it horizontal and you start getting your tiles and you start just placing them in like this. Okay, so I'm going to try to pick this up without them sliding out. There you go. So now you can see um, the effectiveness of putting tiles vertically into your bookcase. So this is a really nice um, if, um, this is a really nice thing that you can do with Legos. So I guess if it's two, um, I guess if it's, if it's two bricks long and um, two and two thirds bricks high, then you can place the two by two uh, tiles any direction you want. So not only can I just place them like that, but I can also place them um, horizontally like that. So that is pretty neat, but. When it comes to bookcases, I would suggest placing them vertically like that. And um, sometimes they might fall out of the bookshelf, so I would be aware of that. And um, they're, they just might spill all over the floor. So one tip that I would do is I would just basically stack four 2x2 two two plates. And on top I would place a tile, because if you just place five 2x2 two two plates, then the stud uh, would not fit in with the other plate, so it would just be, it wouldn't be able to fit, so I would tile the top off so it can easily fit in there. So, um, another thing about the plates or tiles that you use as books for this bookshelf is it really depends on the color. Like, I learned, um, throughout my builds that if you use colors, bland colors like this, like brown, gray, uh, beige, dark gray, and, you know, tan, and then probably white or black, also, then um, it will kind of give your bookcase like a more like um, just a more, you know, d bland color. Like you might put those colors in a detective's office or something like that. But if you want to give your bookcase a more like um, kitty effect, then you can use these brighter colors. So it kind of symbolizes like a girl's bedroom. And um, sometimes you might not have, for example, let's say you want the color. Um, like red or something like that, and you want to use it as a color, and you don't have um, any two by two tiles or any two by two plates, and um, you the only ones that you have of that color are just one by twos. Then you can always, um, you know, just place them next to each other, and let, like what I did here. As you notice, there's a little uh, slit there that tells you that I placed two of these. Um, uh, like lavender colors next to each other, so you get the idea. And when I, and when you ever do it, 
I would suggest placing it this way because if you place it that way and you put it in your bookshelf and you look at it, it won't look so pretty because there'll be a little dent there. So I would suggest placing it, you know, so that you don't see that. So you need, so I turned it uh, 90 degrees and as you notice, you can't see that slit anymore. So that kind of makes your bookcase look clean if you ever do that. And um, of course you can make your bookcase extremely long like this. And you can use a huge variety of colors. Like you might be building a Lego library. Well, these will come in very good handy. And um, just don't forget, always be sure to use those two by two tiles or those two by two plates. So that was the tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you for watching.